Hi, my name is Jess and I am a thriftaholic. Today we are going to have a traditional haul. I had two days where I thrifted and this is what I came up with. I will start with yesterday. I went to a garage sale and they are, it was a couple, and they had a whole garage full and a trailer. Most of it was still boxed up, so I'm going back tomorrow with my husband. But let me just say, holy cow. They told me that they went somewhere about an hour away and bought a whole storage unit for like $130. And the guy was a collector. So they had a lot of things from the earlier 1900s up through the 70s probably. All right. <laughs> they had a free section. So of course I went. Because although they are resellers, they did not seem very experienced or knowledgeable in certain areas. As you know, we all have our little niches. So I got uh, vintage floral sheets. They're, they're more yellow than the camera. They are beautiful. I plan to list these for, I'm going to say 30, 25 to 30. Um, here's some... Just a single, like I said, like I'll just donate some of this. There is like a 1970s butterfly pattern. I believe it, oh, it's, it's just a fitted with a pillowcase. So I'm guessing like $15 for that. And then these are double lined uh, nylon satin pillowcases. There's four of them. Yeah, four of them. So I will lock them up for $20, unless more. If if it's different, then I'll put it up in the corner. There is a vintage leather fanny pack. However, it's been in storage and it smells musty. So, and with leather, I don't think I've really had luck getting the must smell all the way out. Trust me, I've tried pretty much everything. <laughs> I'll just disclose it and maybe do $10 for it. All right, that's all the free stuff I got. This is a hard shell 80s, early 90s suitcase. I sold one before that has a picture of a girl saying going to grandma's. I sold on Poshmark for $45 about a year ago. So I'm looking, you know, $45. And again, I paid a dollar for it. This guy, I really like him. I used to collect stuffed frogs and so I'm unsure if I'm going to list him. He was a dollar and he just like this old frog um, with his little fuzzy, I think they're meant to be like eyebrows, make him look like an old man. He's got his Hawaiian shorts and his sandals. I don't see any tags or brands on him. He's the novelty piece, but I'm leaning towards keeping him. Anytime I see clown stuff that's unique, I do pick it up. Here is a brass. <laughs> clown and it's meant to hold something up either a recipe or a picture I mean technically it could even be a bookend how cool and it's you know got the felt on the bottom it's it's vintage I would say probably 1990s or earlier and then at the thrift store I found dead stock 90s Looney Tune pillowcase. It was a dollar. If it's not worth it for me to sell, I will just keep it for nostalgia. <laughs> okay, so I went to the Salvation Army last night and I wasn't there very long, but they were telling me that today their clothes were all half off. And I love a sale, and their clothes are not always all half off except on holidays. Okay, so the first section that I'm going to do, which is the majority of the stuff I bought, is vintage. Now checking comps on vintage is, you're not going to very often find the same style, but this is probably in 90s. It's very, uh, it's a button down, it's a romper. It's got, you know, the shorts and of course it's got the little tie back. I paid $1.50 for it, and it is by No Boundaries, but I believe it's before No Boundaries was at Walmart. 
I'm gonna ask probably 30 for that or hope for 30. I'm trying to think where I'm gonna put all my piles and I'm hoping they get done before my kids wake up from their nap. I debated on this one. I do have good luck with chambray shirts. This is a women's. However, it has neat metal buttons and it's oddly vented, giving it like a layered Western look, which is in. It is by Waco. It is not made in Waco, Texas though. It's made in Mexico. I'm not familiar with the brand and I did pay $2.50 for that piece. This one I love. I haven't ran comps yet. It's a vintage men's quilted bomber jacket. It's patched, say made in USA. I don't know what the logo means. If I find it, I will um, put it up here on the video and let you know, but it's great. Here's the actual tag. You know, it says made in the USA. And everything was half off, so it was $3.50. I sold this brand about a month ago for $30 to $40 flash, I think it's called flashback. Yeah, um, these, this tapestry material on blazers does pretty well. It was common more so in the 90s. This is just a bread and butter brand. I try to only pick up the older pieces. Lands of Salzburg. They're known for their nightgowns, mainly flannel nightgowns. I sold a couple girls one thing, one women's. This is a women's. It's got the eyelet lace. It's the full length. They sell anywhere from like $20 to $35. I did pay $3 and I was hesitant, but um, I went ahead and got it. Even though oh, I have all this stuff, I did put more than what I bought away um, and left it at the store because I'm trying to be more selective. All right, here is a 90s acrylic sweater. What, what got me were the, um, the colors. I love the color combination. It's like a fuchsia pink, um, an orange, and like an aqua blue. I paid $2.50 for it, and I'm hoping to get 30 by teasers which you know um, I believe I did look that up on eBay briefly and did not find anything but I don't care I just go with my gut here is I'm gonna say this is 1950s maybe 60s um, cardigan I think it's just tailored no fully fashions sorry 100% acrylic it is made in Taiwan and it's got the um, it's like a burnt orange and a mustard yellow. Very retro. Cable knit. I paid $2.50 for it. And I will probably list it at $40. I always start high with things I'm un that's unknown to me. Um, and I, if it doesn't sell probably after the first few months, then I'll put it over best offer. And then I'll, you know, lower the price. Here's a mohair wool blend. It's showing slightly darker but it is like a fuchsia pink cable is that cable knit no it's like open knit sweater that's cool here's the tag I did find comps on these they range from like 25 to 40 or no actually it depends on the pattern this is a solid color so it probably won't go for as much as the others but we only pay a couple dollars, it's okay. And I did not find a comp on this, but how adorable. It's a, it's a boy's wool, um, Saks Fifth Avenue blazer, like sport jacket. And it's a 2T. My boys are too big. Cute. I chanced it. It was $2, but I just, it's very, it's a very rare piece, so... Alrighty, Lord and Lord. This is a men's polyester shirt, probably from the 70s. It's got the wingtip collar, which I think is supposed to be trending this year. Um, I think, is it a button front? Yes, it is. Just a button front. I've got two more vintage pieces, and then we'll go back to 
modern clothes. I found a men's vintage velour Christian Dior robe. I haven't checked comps, but I'm hoping for at least 30. There's the um, logo or their spell out, I guess. It's got the, the tie with it. And I paid $2.50. I'll show you the tag. If my camera will focus. Also, um, Alicia, I bought this shirt from her. Uh, you should check out her channel. I'll link it below. The Murray Life. She has really great hauls and her Goodwills down in Mississippi. You get everything, normal price, 50 cents. That is unheard of. That's like better than garage sale prices here. I would love to go there and thrift. It's like better than the bins. Anyways, I'll link her below. I love watching her videos. She is so cute. Alright. Oh, and she gave me a good deal on the shirt. <laughs> I got, I saw in one of her YouTube videos, so I reached out to her. Okay, here is an, it's either an 80s or 90s single stitch. It's got the perfect fade. I haven't looked it up. I paid a dollar for it. It's tagged, uh, or it's copyrighted. Okay, sorry, my phone cut me off because my memory is almost full. <laughs> and I deleted like 2,000 pictures. Yeah, I need a new phone. Okay, so here's an Eileen Fisher dress. It's just a basic black tunic dress. It's super comfy. However, it's an extra small. I did pay up for it, um, $5, but I think I've only ever found three Eileen Fisher pieces. And guess what? I haven't sold a single one, but I keep buying it. I don't know why. Here's a new tag for White House Black Market. Um, I paid five dollars for it. However, it is new with tags and retailed for seventy-eight, and it's just an open knit beige sweater, which would be great for transition. And then one of my favorite finds of today: a uh, vintage Jams World dress. And before the sale, this was already the half off color. So this has been on the sales floor for at least a month. I'm shocked. Okay. I spent probably a total of $60 on everything that I just showed you. And I plan on making, I don't know, I haven't totaled it up yet. But I will put it up in the corner so you can see how I can work from home, raise my kids, and love it. <laughs> like, it's my job. It's crazy. All right. Well, thank you for listening to me. And I hope you learned something. Please hit the subscribe button and leave a comment below what you thought. All right. Have a great day.